Hello, my lovely Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have behind a mask and stuck energy. So uh, some of you may have had an ending here or feel like someone has completely left your life and has moved on, but they haven't. Someone uh, has been contemplating here and hasn't been able to leave, let this go, but leave energetically. I wonder if you are happy without me. Yeah, I want to feel that way again. Yeah, someone's uh, really longing for a simpler time. Looking back on the past as well, I'm picking up and wishing they can go back to that. Overall energy, nine of wands. This is about perseverance. Also uh, keeping in the game, right? Not giving up. All right, so let's see what's going on in your energy. We have Ace of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. So I like this for you because you've had a really tough time, uh, especially the last couple months. It feels like everything is just crumbling down. Uh, but I like this because you're starting to pick up the pieces. You're starting to see that not all hope is lost and you can create your own reality. That in fact, uh, your manifesting powers are really on point. Uh, you're starting to see as well that there's opportunity and things are shifting in the 3D realm that are matching your intuitive insights, okay? I like this though. Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning, like it or not. Something's coming towards you that you are really picking up on here. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, right? The universe is trying to reach out at you at this time and uh, something positive is happening for you when it comes to matters of the heart. All right, so let's see what's going on in their energy. We have Ace of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. They are working on something here. They are holding back. You have no idea that this person is holding on for dear life to this connection, the feelings that they have. And they've shown you something completely different because it's saying here, this has not been revealed yet. A piece of information that you need to know about that has been kept from you at this time. Uh, tell me the Eight of Pentacles. We have Temperance. And the King of Swords. Yeah, they're really trying to assess things, uh, think things through. For this to be able to work, they have to make some big changes, okay? There's a lot of things they have to work on here in the Eight of Pentacles. I see someone really coming up with a plan here. Tell me the Ace of Swords. King of Pentacles and the Star card, yeah. They cannot deny their heart. They want to fix things. It's like they cannot stand the very thought of you with someone else. The thought that maybe you are happier without them or that you feel better without them even. It's starting to really terrify them. All right, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have two of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. And the Seven of Cups. So things were always up in the air is what I'm seeing. Uh, you never really knew where this connection was going to head because there's a lot of confusion here. They weren't really being honest or truthful. I see a lot of avoidance as well. They were possibly giving into two situations. Doesn't have to be. This can just mean that they were always in contemplation mode, always trying to think about uh, if they want to commit or not, or do they see a future with you? But their feelings were undeniable because you really stirred something up within them that they never really felt before. They kind of uh, suppressed their feelings or tried to not feel too deep for others uh, in their life. And uh, you kind of threw them for a loop here. Ten of seven of cups. Yeah, the constant feeling of not being wanted, uh, you also felt rejected by them at times. This is a connection where it felt lackluster, but like you put all your all into it, but they weren't willing to reciprocate, but it's even more than that. It's like they weren't willing to really show you that this is worth fighting for, that this connection means something to them. Uh, very disappointing uh, the way that they had handled this. We have four of cups, eight of cups. So I see that 
someone has left here showing me that this person uh, in their energy, but it can be vice versa, decided to pick up and leave due to something that was going on in their life here as well. That the choice that they had made, they feel now is the wrong choice. Uh, and also seeing as how now that they treated you the way that they did, they don't like that. Uh, two of Wands, Eight of Cups, that they might have just shot themselves in the foot and lost the opportunity to have a second chance. Two of Wands, Six of Wands. Yeah, you know, it's uh, what I'm picking up is for some of you, this person played like this mental game. And when they left here, they had these high hopes that you're going to chase after them. You didn't. You decided to choose yourself and you weren't going to play some silly game. But I see that they were disappointed in the fact that they thought that they were so amazing and you were so in love with them because you showed them unconditional love that you would fight for them, that you would uh, chase after them and make it a little easier on them, right? It would give them some kind of ego boost here in the Six of Wands where they'd feel success. But for others, if it's not the case, they chose the wrong decision. They were running away from their feelings, uh, choosing something in the 3D realm because uh, it's kind of like they're at a crossroads to where they had no more time to deliberate. They had deliberated for so long they had to choose whether to commit or to not, uh, or to really give their all to this. All right, so let's see the challenge. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Justice, the Sun card, and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you weren't able to see what they were really wanting here. What their true intentions were, because they weren't able to work with you. Justice Sun could have been a karmic situation here, and also some of you are dealing with a soulmate. But uh, this is a very faded affair or faded connection, which means that uh, it changes your life or alters it in a way in a positive sense, but it, it can be hard to go through. It doesn't mean that everything is ended. It just means that uh, this is a very important connection in your life as well as theirs. Uh, so things happen this way and you have to trust the universe when this pairing comes up. It's kind of like you will see the silver lining in the end. So just have faith in the divine. But with Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, yeah. So sometimes their cruelty here was in how callous they were about your feelings, right? Cold, detached at times. It's like suddenly towards the end here, it seemed like they were a different person. You can hear it in their voice, their energy, and you're very confused. And it really did rock your stability because with the Queen of Pentacles, that shows me you gave your all. You were nurturing this person. You were making them feel safe and comfortable, but they weren't doing the same for you. Yeah, one foot in, one foot out. I just see a situation where someone just didn't commit fully uh, due to outside circumstances or due to other things going on in their life uh, or third party. Uh, it's not the Three of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Yeah, some of you, it is a third party here. Uh, the difference is, if it is a third party, they chose to stay in that situation uh, due to their finances or something that was keeping them secure in the physical realm. Uh, it didn't make them happy. In fact, it broke their heart. Three of Swords. It's like such an unfair situation. Sometimes this comes up with Justice and Knight of Wands in tarot readings when something does feel so unfair in the universe. How can two soulmates be in each other and then not be able to be together? Uh, and that is the feeling here, right? It's almost like they became bitter that they couldn't have you. And so they were making a rash decision here to walk away and to choose what was easier instead of dealing with this emotional pain or struggle that they felt they couldn't even express to you. Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Wheel of Fortune. So we have completion, but someone not wanting it to be an end. And another choice is made. This is a faded situation here. Lovers, and the Wheel of Fortune again. Destiny is coming. So what you're about to see is the stars are aligning to give you this special surprise. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. Many blessings to you, and I'll see you next time.